Hi everyone, it's Nat from Studio Hacks here. And in this short video, I'm gonna give you five tips that you can use to clear or reduce that other storage on your iPhone. Now, a lot of other YouTube videos are suggesting that you back up your iPhone and wipe it clean and restore it. But if you don't wanna go through all of that, there are five other ways that you can reduce that storage right away. The first one is definitely the easiest. All you have to do is go to the app switcher because that other can involve cached files, such as if you are watching a movie on Netflix, that movie could temporarily be stored on uh, the storage of your iPhone. So on the older iPhones, you double click the home button. On the newer iPhones, you swipe up from the bottom and this will show you all the apps that are open in the background. So go ahead and swipe them up to get rid of them. And this will instantly, if one of them is storing a large file, clear up, you'll see that mine reduced just a little bit there. And to see the exact amount that's being used by that other, I'm gonna go from the home screen, you select settings, you then navigate general, you then go to iPhone storage, and then you zoom all the way down to the bottom, and then it will tell you here, the system and the other. Okay, so I think I reduced that a little bit. The second tip that you can use is the offload apps. And this is quite a good one because you'll see here on the iPhone storage, you can do an automatic capture all offload unused apps. And this will take any apps that you haven't used for uh, a while and it will temporarily delete them off your phone, but they the, the apps will still be there. The, the icon will still be there. You can see that my other is now, um, I've actually saved five gigabytes. So that's a really quick and easy way of doing it. And you can actually manually offload the apps. This is the third tip. So if there's an app, so the, the automatic offloading of apps um, will, you know, offload apps if they're old and if you're running out of data, but you can manually go through and have a quick look if there's something that's taking up a lot. Now I hardly ever play Angry Birds anymore, um, but my kids might want to play it in a few months. So you can actually just click on that and select offload app. And that will do this, what I was talking about. It will temporarily delete the app and then you can reinstall it at any time. It will still remain an icon on your phone. So you can see that the Angry Birds app is still there on my phone. It just has this little cloud icon next to it with a download. So if I click on that, it's just going to reinstall the app. So just bear in mind that if it's a really big app, you might need to be connected to your Wi-Fi network for it to be allowed to happen. So if I click on that, so it will, it'll save all of your settings on the game. It'll keep all your saved games, all the things within that app. It's just gonna delete the actual app itself. So that's a really good way you can go through in your settings under the general and the iPhone storage and you can offload any apps that you don't think you're gonna use for a while. And that's another really fantastic way. The fourth tip that I have is going in to the Safari settings. So I'm gonna go back all the way out to just the standard settings page. And if you use the Safari browser, it's a really good idea. Uh, some of that other storage may be your history and website data. So you can clear the history and website data there, and that can also save a lot of room. Now the fifth and final tip is just under the main settings menu and you're going to want to go down to messages. This might not be for everyone. Some people like to keep all of their messages, but there is an option here to keep messages uh, forever or one year or 30 days. So you can uh, back up your messages by backing up your phone. I'm going to show you on under my settings and my general and iPhone storage that my messages are currently taking up Let's have a look here, almost five gigabytes. And then one other option is it'll, you can, from this screen also, you can enable the auto deleting of old conversations that are more than a year old. Or if you wanna keep all your messages, you can just review the large attachments. So you can see there that my, that, that I have some attachments which are photos and videos, 
So I could go in to the photos or the videos and review those. Um, and you know, these may be videos that a family member have sent you and you can hit the edit button right here and you can delete individual attachments. That is another way that you can quickly clear up some uh, storage on your iPhone. So I hope you found that informative and interesting. That is five tips that you can clear the other storage on your iPhone that don't require you to erase, backup, reboot, or restore your iPhone. Things that you can just do straight away. I hope you enjoyed this content, everybody, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.